Hello everyone, I'm Shreya Mukherjee. I qualified GPAT 2022 with a rank of 376. I've qualified GATE as well in last year and this year with a rank of 476. And currently I'm studying in the Manipal College of Pharmaceutical Sciences in the specialization of pharmaceutical chemistry. So first of all, thank you being pharmacist for giving me such a great opportunity to be a part of this channel. As we all know that only a few days are left for GPAT 2023, so these last few days are actually very crucial and it can determine your outcome, final outcome for the GPAT 2023 exam. So I would like you to follow certain points. It will be beneficial for you and it might help you in cracking GPAT 2023 as well as other entrances and other exams for MPharm. So first point is uh, do not try to learn anything new at this point because it's already very late and only a few days are left and trying to learn something new, forcing your brain to learn something new in this last few stressful days will not fetch you anything rather it will result in forgetting the concepts and other knowledge of whatever you knew already. So it's better to leave whatever topics or whatever parts you think that you don't know anything about it. So it's okay. You know a lot. You know almost 90% of the syllabus because you have gone through all these already in the last four years of the B Farm days. So you know all those and try to grasp these points. Try to go through all these concepts and basic basic concepts of uh, the different subjects because it will help you to score good marks. Second is try to strategize your reading in the last few days because you need to now give priority to the different subjects. Try to give importance to the major subjects like pharmacology, pharma chemistry, then pharmaceutics, pharma analysis for spectral, spectral analysis, biopharm. These will give you marks this will help you to qualify and the minor subjects like jurisprudence biochem biotech cognacy this will improve your rank so if you are getting enough uh, time in throughout the day give importance in solving mcq to the first firstly to the major subjects and then to the minor subjects in between the uh, time when you are not feeling like studying just go through the subject uh, mcqs just go through some of the points because these uh, gi will give you direct questions uh, from cognacy from jurisprudence the direct questions come and it's easy to score marks in those so don't leave out those easy parts try to manage time in such a way that you can at least revise all the subjects at, at, at least you can revise one major subject in the morning and one major subject in the night and try to uh, practice mcq as much as you can because right now taking a big reference book or big uh, author's book and studying through it is not going to help rather just practice mcqs practice the notes and short points which have already maybe you jotted down during your stunning days and revise it as much as you can try to give importance to and mainly two of the uh, major subjects maybe ecology chemistry or chemistry suitics and if you feel that one of the subject is a weak point for you it's okay just leave do not leave out that subject completely Try to see the points which already you know and try to get as much as you can from whatever you already know from the different subjects. Now coming to strategizing your exam pattern, it's important to practice mock tests and practice test series because you need to have an idea how to manage the exam time. You will get three hours and between these three hours you need to properly strategize so that you can get enough time for revision because this revision is very important last minute revision can help you to identify the silly mistakes maybe you can make in the exam so try to divide the time in such a way that you can at least go through the questions once in the first that is in the beginning and then give importance to the uh, topics or to the questions which you already know that is that are correct that are 100% correct 
if there are any questions which you think you don't know it's new for you don't get panicked it's okay there are maybe two or three questions like that but there are 20 to 30 questions which you already know which can get give you marks so first give importance to them correctly mark them and after that go through the questions which you think you are confused because of one or two options try to find out the answer from the question itself because sometimes maybe a term or maybe a sentence can help you to remember the concept the different aspects of the questions and it might help you to answer it because last time in my experience there was a question from a pharmaceutics where I didn't know the answer but the question's answer was actually hidden in some other question. So sometimes there are chances that from answering one question you might get the answer for another question. So don't leave out any question, go through all the questions but do not attempt to get negative marks. Try to attempt as much as uh, guesswork you want because if you are attempting more guessing questions uh, it will fetch you minus one and this minus one can actually have a lot of effect on your rank and finally in this last few days try to eat properly try to get rest try to give some rest to your brain because it is not easy to actually carry on the continuous studying throughout the day it is necessary for your body to also be in a relaxed mode in order to grasp all these concepts so spend some time with your family spend some time relaxing it will help you to get good marks later also because it's not important to study throughout the day just have importance in knowing the concepts and it is easy GPAT 2023 will be easy for you uh, so finally I would like to say that don't get disheartened don't get demotivated it's okay I know it's stressful I've been through all these days and it is very much a tensing situation that what will happen in the for the next two years of your life this GPAT 2023 will determine nothing is like that you will determine your own future just be confident don't be overconfident just have confidence in yourself that you can do it GPAT is easy GPAT is scoring and it is easy it will be easy for you to get good marks and good rank and then achieve your dreams in the future so all the best to everyone thank you thank you Sreya for being with us and this was a wonderful motivation and strategy planning for the all GPAT 2023 aspirants I hope this video will help you guys and those who are watching this video I'd suggest you to please share this video as much as possible so that everyone can get this video and they can also watch like you and they will also get some motivation and all the best to all of you guys those who are going for the exam GPAT 2023 and if you like the video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe the channel and make sure to press the bell icon thank you so much